Welcome back. It's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We've got an article for you that you have to hear to believe. This one, of course, is about Flat Earth. Let's get into it. After persisting as a fringe movement for decades, the belief that the Earth is actually flat and not a globe suddenly experienced a massive spike in popularity in early 2015. It drew tens of thousands of people into various Facebook groups, spawned countless memes and YouTube videos, caught the eye of minor celebrities, and even inspired reasoned and nuanced takedowns from popular science communicators like Neil deGrasse Tyson, who called Flat Earth a deep failure of our education system. To be clear, none of these videos or memes present any compelling evidence that the Earth is actually flat. Most rely on the constant repetition of the claim that you can't see the horizon and on obfuscating debate by misusing the unending stream of scientific jargon like crescapular rays and gyroscope attitude indicators. When that doesn't work, they just claim every photo of the globular Earth was either distorted by a fisheye lens or faked by NASA. And here we go, and here it comes. And this is probably the best part of the entire article. Are you ready? Okay, because again, when confronted with the fact that the flat Earth is actually impossible, all right, because of the scientific principle, are you ready for this? That the bigger a flat disk is, the more distorted the gravity becomes away from its center. I gotta read that one more time just for everyone, just so you can actually hear the biggest reason that flat Earth is impossible, all right? It's because of the scientific principle that the bigger a flat disk is, the more distorted the gravity becomes away from its center, all right? Many flat earthers double down. They claim that gravity itself is also a hoax. Okay, that's true, but this is where it really misleads people. The flat Earth is accelerating upwards, propelled by universal acceleration. Every single time we see an article like this, they will bring up this fact. And I find it so disingenuous. I find it such faulty research. This one done by attention, attn.com. And they basically put this nice little article. They're gonna do their little research. They're gonna look around and they're gonna explain it. And yet they come up with this that of course it's impossible because the bigger a flat disk is, the more distorted the gravity becomes away from its center. All right. And that of course they say that we believe that the flat earth is accelerating upwards propelled by universal acceleration. Please, anyone in the comments post, please for me and show me this formula and that you actually believe in it. Um, I have not seen very many people believe in this. This is such a misdirect and it happens every single time I look at an article. It's like these guys that do any of their research constantly won't look at anything to do recently. The article starts off recently, talks about 2015, talks about the reassurgence, talks about celebrities, talks about all of these things. And yet, misquotes goes back to the Flat Earth Society, of course, being complete agency set up to discredit the entire movement to make it look silly like for example a flat disc accelerating upwards throughout the universe no we do not believe that nobody believes that anybody in credible research anybody that has done anything credible within the movement does not believe at all in a flat disc accelerating upwards propelled by universal acceleration all right nobody nobody and if anybody can actually point someone out that is actually was on YouTube, for example, that's actually even doing YouTube videos that has more than 10,000 subscribers, please put them in the comments so that I may actually see the person that's actually even doing this. Because that leads anyone to believe and while watching this video to support the fact that no, this is completely patently false. This is completely wrong. And I'm so sick and tired of it. Every single time we do an article, anytime I find some sort of article, oh, here's hope, here's someone they're gonna actually interview, they're gonna find some really good stuff, they're gonna paint it in a good light, they're not gonna just say, hey, it's all crazy. But of course, they go right back to this. And this is why it's so disturbing, why this, this definitely needs to be uh, spoken about, is because, please, Please, if you're going to actually do an article about 
the movement itself, the community, people that are involved in this investigation. Um, don't, don't, you know, mislead your readers in thinking that flat earthers believe that we're on a flying flat disc accelerating upwards propelled by universal acceleration. I've done over 250 videos. I've never once ever claimed anything that preposterous. And again, I don't know anyone that has. And this is why they continually do this it is to basically make it look ridiculous, which if you actually stop and think about it, that if we are a flying flat disc accelerating upwards, you know, through universal acceleration, um, then yeah, it would actually start breaking down because again, you would absolutely need gravity the way that they've constructed it for us. Again, it would start breaking apart and this is the only way they can start discrediting it is basically linking it with a flat disk. Do you understand that? Because every time we see this, they pull this out, they pull this data and they say, look, it's impossible, it's impossible because look, gravity wouldn't work. If you have a flying disk and it's flying through space, uh, gravity, you know, gravity, you know. So again, this is how they're actually starting to tear it apart is by using this false claim that we believe that we're a flying disc, you know, propelling through universal acceleration, which is totally not true.